The first single of the album is Sexy Back. You described it as David Bowie and David Byrne covering James Brown's oh. Sex Machine. Right. What is it about? It's not, it's not specifically about one thing. When I was writing the song, I pictured people in a club at like three o'clock in the morning, you know, like lights flashing everywhere, strobes, everyone's sweaty, nobody cares. That's, that's just the feeling that, that I got when, I, when we started making the track. And um, I just wanted to push it as far as I could. Can you name three things that makes a woman sexy in your opinion? I think what I think I think there's one thing that makes a woman sexy. I think it's how she carries herself. I think women I mean women are you know, women are the best creatures on the planet. But I think also I think every woman, you know, is completely different. And I think that um, a lot of times women grow up in society or in your culture thinking that you have to look a certain way or dress a certain way. I think we, uh, you know, everybody's like that, but I think with women it's tougher because I think, you know, it's not, it's not, as, it's not as hard on, on males as it mm -hmm. is on females. So I think what makes a woman sexy is really, you know, if she loves what she has, you know, she loves her figure, she loves the way that she looks and, you know, she, I think then she'll represent herself you know, I think, I think you do yourself an injustice by trying to make yourself something that you're not. If you, you know, if you're, you know, out of shape and you want to get in shape, then that's one thing. But if you're doing it because you think you need to look a certain way, then I think you're doing it for the wrong reasons. But I, I think that if you, if you love what you got and you walk that way. So women who are secure. Yeah. Themselves. Okay. Basically, you said it in a much better way. See, it took a woman to tell me what I thought what, that was sexy. <laughs> well, it's a very hard thing to achieve, believe me. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it is. No, it's like, we're all, I mean, we all grow up, we're all, we're, everybody was made fun of for something mm -hmm. when they were growing up. You know, some girls are made fun of because they're too skinny. I was always made fun of because of my hair, you know? Um, and plus, I had a lot of pimples. I had a lot of acne, too, but... Hey, you did have an earring. I did have an earring, so you can make fun of me for that too. I had two earrings. Oh, it was cool. So, yeah. It was well, cool. Uh, thanks. Yeah, it's having an At the time. Well, Sexy is a word that you can use for um, all your videos, past and probably future as well. What is your own favorite Justin Timberlake video? Ooh, I don't know. Um, off the top of my head, I, I think I'd have to say Cry Me a River just because the video itself was so genius. Uh, and I have to give all the credit to the director, Francis Lawrence. I mean, he came up with that whole treatment. It was interesting, it was, it was like a, a small film, mm -hmm. but also it was like a small film where it's like one of those films where you actually, I think you, you rooted for the bad guy, because I was the bad guy in that video, but I think you were rooting for me, which is, it felt kind of sinister. And I like anything that, it was just a little darker, and, and, I, and there was something about it that I, that I still really like. And is there one that really makes your toes curl when you watch it now? My videos? Yeah. No. Maybe an old NSYNC one. <laughs> no, I, I watch some Madonna videos that might make my toes curl. Which one? Um, I, you know, I worked the director that did Sexy Back, Michael Houseman. Yeah, I yeah. worked with him because he did my favorite Madonna Take video. A bow. Yeah. I mean, he, that video is amazing to me. I mean, you always see females in videos like looking like they're in charge and in control, but then that was the first time I really felt like I saw Madonna looking very vulnerable. Yeah. And that was, it was so sexy to me, you know, um, that she looked like that matador had complete control over her. So she, will we see a vulnerable Justin Timberlake then in the video? I don't know. 
I know that we, we filmed it in Barcelona, and there's a little bit of a storyline, but it's also a lot of, um, it was inspired by um, Kubrick, uh, Helmut Newton, um, things that were sexy, but a little also, I think the track itself has yeah. an element of like, that feels kind of dangerous. And so the video will feel that way as well. You worked with um, Nelly Furtado as well, and she said about you that she really likes the way you do your thing, and especially being an artist coming from a place where you had no credibility from the so-called music industry, right. the serious music industry. Um, and she's <clears> like, I thought it was so cool that he came from there and then he ended up on stage with the Rolling Stones doing his thing. Right. But still some people thought that you didn't belong there and started throwing water bottles at you. How do you handle those confrontations on stage? I mean, I've been through everything. I've been through everything on stage. You know, I mean, I've done shows in Europe when I was a teenager. It's the same thing. It's not, you know, the, every show particularly, it's like whenever you put an artist on the bill that doesn't really belong, which that's kind of what I was on that bill, it's sort of the nature of the beast. Um, it doesn't, at the end of the day, it's like, I just stand up there and finish my set. You know, I'm there to play a show and I'm there to work. And um, yeah, but it's a huge compliment from the Stones that they invite you there on stage. No, totally, totally. I, I w it was an honor to do it. I'll never forget it. Um, it was interesting because the bottles <coughs> got thrown when I played my set, which mm -hmm. was at the beginning of the festival. And then I came on stage with the Stones, and everybody was like, oh. so it was kind of like I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was my little moment <laughs> but oh, e even <laughs> will i am said that he wasn't sure that he was gonna like justin timberlake and he said that you're really talented if you can change people's thoughts and that's what you did with him well, apparently because i you wasn't guys were working together well yeah well will you know will thinks he's a singer too but he's not <laughs> so i'm just kidding no will's the best will's the best and um you know i mean not everything's for everybody, and I think that the group that I was in was a part of time where we were considered a piece of, you know, bubblegum pop, which is fine, you know what I mean? That's, that's calling it what it is, but I think that that's why I did what I did, was I needed a departure from that. And um, so here I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And um, I didn't bring an earring, but I did bring something else, <laughs> and I'm going to give it to you. Don't, I, I don't have any more holes in my ears. I can't wear any earrings. I know you're a big surf fan, so are you a oh, wetsuit? Oh, look at that. I hope now it fits. Now there's no excuses. I have to surf in the cold water, too. Yeah, Norty, here you come. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. That Thank is very you. sweet. Thank, Thank you very you. much. This is the Music Factory.